Hi guys and welcome to DIY Ideas and welcome to a new wool haul. I was at ED yesterday and um, bought really interesting sale packages here for $2.99 and um, I took two of these and honestly I'm really impressed by these bags actually. It has these resealable um, bags and you can actually use them for anything else after. And so we have wool in here. It was $2.99 for this whole bag, but you can see um, that the balls of yarn actually were um, much more expensive before. And so yeah, great bargain. I have two. Um, I will show you this one first and um, yeah, we'll see what else, what else we got in here. And then I'll see, show you the other bag. So I'm gonna open up this one. And yeah, as you can see, the bag is really nice, actually. And I'm gonna grab these three bras of yarn. They're all the same. That actually I wasn't able to see from the outside that well, um, because also I didn't want to open this in the store, obviously. So the bag is really nice. I'm definitely gonna keep this to reuse at a later point. And so this is the yarn. Um, it's called Fashion Luxury Style, 50 grams and 73 meters. Um, it, the original price was actually $7.99 and I bought three of them um, for $2.99. And so that was really, really a good bargain. Um, yeah, <laughs> for sure. That's a lot cheaper. And yeah, so basically one euro per ball of yarn instead of almost eight. This is a very interesting texture. Um, it kind of looks like the fake fur wool. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little better here. And so I love this purple color. It's meant for a size 4.5 crocheting hooks and it says here 64% viscose, 16% polyester, 13% polyamide and 7% cashmere. Interesting. Um, very interesting mix here, that's for sure. Um, it feels almost like chilly cold. <laughs> Um, it's not like a, a warming wool, it's um, mostly yeah, artificial, um, except for the cashmere, obviously. And so I'm going to see, this is color number one. So maybe they have different colors also of this. And so I'm going to see, but I think they're all the exact same. Yes, it's also the number one. And... Yes, they're the exact um, same product number here as well, so obviously they're compatible. And let's see, somewhere here it should say, yes, it's the exact same number. All right, and so very interesting. We're gonna start with this um, ball of yarn here because I've already kind of taken some stuff apart. <laughs> um, so I wanna see the thread here in detail. And I can see it's not a single thread. This is a single thread. So you can see here we have a main um, part of the thread. It's kind of glittery. Um, it's actually pretty, pretty glittery. And it kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of like Christmas. Um, it doesn't look very summery, to be honest. It looks more like fall or Christmas, winter, but it's, it's really nice. I actually like this a lot. And I'm really interested to see how um, we can crochet with this, like how it feels like to crochet with this. Maybe not right now, maybe a little later in the year, but um, yeah, lovely. And let's see, ah oh, yeah, 73 meters, exactly. So it's not that long, um, but yeah, just super interesting. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to see um, what it looks like crocheted. And so interesting, so here's actually, we have a different price here. It's 829 here and then reduced to 414. Um, not sure why this one was a different price, but very interesting. And obviously, yeah, the bag is great, so. And before I go into the next bag, I have this wool here also. This is a highlight for me for sure. I love these colors. And this was 699 at first and I paid 489 for this, it's fashion. Florino DK, 50 grams, 115 meters. It's 41% polyamide, 31% virgin wool, 21% polyester, and 7% 7 cotton. 
It's meant for a size seven, a size four crocheting hooks. Um, interesting mix of, um, yeah, of different um, things. And you can see here what the thread looks like. So it has this really thin um, dark blue thread, and then you have the the more wool the more wooly stuff uh, wrapped around it with like these really cool colors. So you have this dark blue and then like almost neon um, colorful, yeah, colorful patches. And I think this looks awesome because it because it has uh, virgin wool and cotton, it's obviously also warming. Um, so great for winter or fall probably. And yeah, just a lovely, lovely color mix. This one here is Color Spin from Rico Design. Um, I've already used this at another tutorial. It's 100 grams, 200 meters long, 100% cotton, meant for a size six crocheting hook. And look at these lovely colors in here. Um, I think this looks so pretty, um, kind of like a cream and there's some pink, some browns. Um, I think these are really, really lovely colors, um, very natural colors, ni nice pastel colors. And this is the color number three. It was actually $8.99 originally, and I bought it for $3.14. Um, so yeah, I think these colors are awesome. Then we have the Creative Lazy Hazy Summer Cotton. Um, <laughs> but that's how you know it's actually meant for summer, because it's called summer. Uh, the price originally was $4.49, but I only paid $3.14, um, as you can see here. And let's see this one. This one actually was even more expensive, but at the end they were the same price um, at the discounted price. Color number 13, and I mean, also amazing colors. Green, like this lovely green tones, minty tones, um, so pretty. It has like two elements, the thread, so it has the the thinner gimp thread and then the, yeah, the, the heavier colored thread, basically. Um, I think this color is so pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of this yet, but it's gonna be really nice. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, you can see that the thinner thread kind of gets a little thicker sometimes, but um, yeah, just lovely. It's 49% cotton and 46% acrylic and 5% polyester, meant for size four crocheting hooks. And so, yeah, it's lovely greens, but it has some blues and a lot of whites and some yellow, actually, some light pinks. And so really, really cute. Um, yeah, this is my third bargain that I bought, obviously, apart from the bag. And so this is the second bag. Um, this is the same exact bag of the other one. I turn it around so it has this really nice reusable zipper. And let's see what we have inside. I actually can see these bags are great for, um, you know, just storing wool. I'm definitely gonna keep them. So here we have three balls of yarn again, but with different colors. I'm gonna focus down here. So here we have a darker one. This is called Lux Glamour. Fashion Lux Glamour, or Luxury, sorry. Um, the other one was called Fashion Luxury Style, exactly. And this one is the Glamour version. Um, and so this is even more glittery, even more shiny. What well, looks even more like Christmas, um, for sure. Um, but it looks pretty cool. Or maybe, oh, you know, this would be great maybe for um, New Year's. This was um, $8.99, but the bargain was $6.29 actually. But obviously I bought the three of them together. And this is the same wool, but just a different color. Um, they look, yeah, they're exactly the same. Just, um, yeah, slightly lighter purple. 50 grams, 120 meters. The prices are a little different, but let's see this one. Oh yeah, $3.99 was the original bargain. But obviously we bought three of them together. And so let's see. We have 50 grams, 120 meters. It's 53% viscose, 29% polyester, 13% polyamide, and 6% cashmere. Um, the cashmere, yeah, so both of these different uh, yarns had cashmere, and this is meant for size 4 crocheting hooks. Uh, this is the color number 3, so this darker one. Mm, I think the combination is pretty cute, so I would say you could probably use them together. And here this structure, um, yeah, it's very similar to the fake fur wool, so um, yeah, it has this, this thread in the middle. 
and then um, these like little ones that go off of it with the shiny, shiny parts also. So yeah, it kind of feels like the fake fur walls I've, wools I've used before. And so look what I <laughs> what I have here on the side actually. Um, it kind of yeah, it reminds me a lot of the bubble gum, the creative bubble wool from Rico Design. Um, just for the, for the structure from how it's like made up, it's obviously a different uh, material. The bubble one is 100% polyester, and but the structure is very similar because it has these little hairs that kind of go away from the main thread, and yeah, it just looks kind of similar. But yeah, so this is the luxury version, I guess. Um, and yeah, maybe you can make a nice scarf out of this or some some accessories with a nice shine to it. And the other one is obviously for sponges. And so yeah, this is the dark um, variation. It's like black with some blues and purples. Then we have this version here in purple, but it's different. <laughs> um, it also has very similar shine, shiny parts here, shiny particles. Um, but the color is obviously much lighter and more purple. And they feel, honestly, they feel pretty soft. Um, it's not like sometimes you have with the shiny wools, like the, the sponge wool here on the left. It's not as scratchy, so you can definitely make a scarf out of this one. Um, it feels nice and soft. You don't feel that it's, you know, has these um, shiny parts. And so that's probably good. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice feeling here um, for this wool. And yeah, this one I think is the same exact color. And so I'm just really excited to see how you can crochet with this, um, what it feels like, or if it's similar to the sponge wool or not, um, if it's different, I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, just very interesting wool. I'm excited to do, to do something with this for sure. Write me in the comments, um, what do you think of these surprise bags? I think honestly that they were great. They were so cool and uh, yeah, just very cheap. And obviously has the cool has the cool little bags that you can reuse um, for storing wool or for something like that. Um, so it even has the you know the floor basically on the bottom, and obviously the the zipper that is reusable. Just very practical. And yeah, write me in the comments um, what do you think of these wools. And please share this video with your friends. And um, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.